Hello folks, welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're talking about Notion going free. I'm going to explain what the new plans mean and also how you can take advantage of it. So without further ado, let's roll into today's video. <laughs> So folks, before we dive in, if you are still learning about Notion, you can check out our course, the first module is free, I'll include the link in the description, I'm sure you will enjoy it. So you may have just heard the news that Notion have a new model with their personal plan. So let's just get back to yesterday when nothing had changed. Uh, Notion was structured as Notion free with the 1000 block limit and Notion Personal, which was $5 per month if you paid monthly. So you wouldn't necessarily have to worry about how much content you were adding. Now, as of today, Notion is making the unlimited blocks side of stuff free. So if you are on Notion Personal, it will naturally be free now. So you are paying zero per month for unlimited content to be added to your Notion, which is a huge leap. I'll talk about a few of the more deeper implications for productivity tools a little bit later in this video, but let's just be clear. So the new plan means that Notion Personal becomes free. Um, you will get unlimited blocks, but you'll have a five megabyte file limit per file you upload to Notion. Now you can get rid of that, and there is this newer plan called Notion Pro. And Notion Pro is basically the old Notion Personal at $5 per month, which will allow you to remove that file upload. It, it will also allow you to add as many guests as you want to collaborate. Uh, and if there is any issues with my explanation with this, there is the information below, and I'll include it on screen because I'm recording this in a little bit far in advance, just so you know all of the details. So, that's really exciting news. The majority of people I can imagine are on the Notion Personal, so you're probably going, oh wow, that's five pound or five bucks back a month, and you get to use the same Notion service, and obviously, you know, if you're someone that, you know, doesn't use uh, large amounts of files in Notion, then this is perfect. Um, and as you can imagine, uh, a lot of people are probably thinking that, which is great. And I think this is probably one of the most biggest pieces of news for a fair while. I think they're really taking it to other applications now by making it free. Um, and I want to talk about a few of the main reasons behind that. These are some of my own opinions, so naturally take them with a pinch of salt. Um, but I think, um, obviously, over the last couple of months, um, you know, Notion's been working on its stability side of stuff. You know, we've got faster page speeds, which I'm really happy with, faster mobile access, which does need a little bit of a tweaking of work. Um, but as you can imagine, much, much faster than we had uh, this time last year, which is very good. So I think Notion are fixing the things. I know recently they've done a lot of the iPad additions and improvements, um, which is definitely uh, benefiting uh, a lot of users. So they are looking for that stability before they necessarily roll out. And I think this is a great move because this will help the expansion. This will help it become uh, a lot more accessible for those uh, generalist productivity users and a huge move I think for the mass market. I think a, a lot of people who for example you may be convincing family members or friends to start using Notions but because they aren't like you and me a bit of a productivity nerd that they wouldn't go past that thousand block limit and pay the five dollars I think this is definitely going to convert all of those users so I can imagine many of you guys will be telling family and friends what the news is that has changed. Now, I want to compare it to the likes of Evernote. So, obviously, Evernote has been sort of a bit left behind, um, and this has definitely put even more pressure on the company uh, to make some moves, because obviously they have a, a premium, and essentially Notion is just removing, uh, apart from team access, pretty much... Uh, really a huge gain uh, for the company because obviously you're gaining pretty much what you'd get in Evernote Premium without obviously some of the more detailed features. Um, you know, you're definitely getting a huge uh, bundle uh, of, of goodness uh, from this experience. You can tell I'm a little bit uh, excited for this news. But the thing is, um, if you look at applications now, um, for example, I noticed that Rome announced the other day it's $15 uh, per month. To use the application, if I'm right, um, which is very steep. So that's, you know, before this move, that's three times the amount Notion 
are paying, uh, which is massively large. But I definitely think there is room for Rome, for sure. And they don't have the capability of doing something like this. And of course, they need to start making money. But it's really uh, a very aggressive move by Notion um, to sort of put this much pressure on, especially on the newer companies. But again, a very healthy market um, that will be a very interesting to see how it plays out. But I definitely see a lot of people staying with Rome because of that sort of cult-like experience and these advanced features that Notion doesn't necessarily have, like the tagging and the mapping in databases. So a very interesting day for Notion. Please do let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I might not be around to check them, but I'll definitely um, look back at these comments and see some of your opinions. So of course, share them below. Um, and naturally, you can check out all the news below in case I missed anything. But very exciting news and very uh, interesting for Notion right now. So guys, a big thank you. I hope you have a great week. Please do subscribe if you're brand new. And I will talk to you all in a future video. Video. Cheers everyone. Bye.